uh, give some brief introduction to, to have a, a, a context and also talk about a little bit organizational details uh, of, of today. Uh, yeah, we are a little bit unlucky with the weather, but I hope we will have a nice and friendly atmosphere here uh, in, the, in the auditorium. So, um, yeah, the topic of today is the sustainable resource software, the sustainable resource software development. And of course, software is now es is the essential part of research. And in fact, uh, software is an essential part of the modern life nowadays. So basically, we are always using a kind of software by using our mobile phones, while doing our work, even at home. So it's really part of our, our, our life now. Um, researchers develop and reuse software as part of their, their research activity, of course, to generate process and analyze the results. Um, but um, here I put an asterisk to researchers because the research software is not anymore developed only by the researchers. So uh, nowadays we are talking more, more and more uh, advanced methods, also infrastructure, artificial intelligence, and deep learning, um, big data analytics, and cloud computing which becomes really complex and requires more than one person uh, to, to have a, a good, good outputs, good products at, at, at the end. So it's really a, a team effort. Um, so, um, but what we mean with research software, maybe a, a basic definition can be also really useful because if you look at the, the references, there are many different uh, definitions of re research software, but um, maybe the one that's provided by eScience Center can be a good start. And uh, according to, to eScience uh, Center website, it's a piece of code, script package tool, a library for a program written for research purposes. So that means a research software can range from a few hundred lines of code, but it can go to up to full-fledged applications with 100,000 lines of, of code, a complete set of long set of dependencies and full documentation and tutorial. So, um, and I believe today, uh, during, during the mini, mini symposium, we will see examples falling on different places within this wide range of spectrum, which is in fact a quite richness. Um, what makes research software partly different from other software? Actually, uh, there are some important characteristics such as reproducibility, reusability, and also the accuracy of, of the results. So these are really important. And at this point, maybe we should also open a parenthesis for open science, because open science practices um, and principles makes also these characteristics more and more important. So nowadays, when we try to develop research software, actually we try to be careful also with this, these characteristics. So um, existence of research software is actually is just the first step. It is crucial, it's necessary, but actually uh, it is really important to make it also sustainable, to keep it alive in long term. So um, there is also an asterisk there for the long term because it is also quite, quite relative, you know? So uh, nowadays the software landscape is changing very rapidly. The developments are very, very quick. And in fact, if sufficient attention is not paid during the development, then the research software becomes very easily broken and unusable in a, in a quite short period. And from a short period, we can even mean a few months, for example. So uh, what can we do to make the research software sustainable? So, well, there are several options that are available. We have the FAIR principles, so to make it findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. But these principles mainly come from, from research data management practices, right? And to be honest, they are not sufficient for research software, which is a much more complex piece of product compared to research data. So what we need, additional to this, we need software engineering principles and practices, uh, such as version controlling, branch feature design, unit testing, continuous integration, so these kind of practices, in fact, help research software to be more maintainable and also sustainable. But at the same time, it also asks the researchers to be software engineers, which is really quite complicated. And that's why we have also a quite recent uh, trend, starting from about, uh, about 10 years ago, um, which is called research software engineers. 
So basically dedicated uh, software developers who apply software engineering principles and practices to develop sustainable research software. Um, it is a little, little bit interesting because uh, we have today eScience Center and ITC uh, is the joint um, organizers of this meeting. And if you look at the software presentations from, from eScience Center, all the presentations will be provided by research software engineers. Uh, and almost all of them have also uh, PhD degrees. So they were researchers at one period, and maybe they are still the researchers. But, it, but if you look at the ITC software presentations, then we see that there will be academic researchers uh, or software developers who will provide this, this presentation. So we don't have research software developers here at ITC. It is not officially recognized as such. And in fact, to be honest, ironically, if we look at the official personal pages of, of the software developers provided by the university, we see that they are only pro indicated as support staff. So, um, so even the software developer notion and title seems to be unrecognized, which is unfortunate, I would tell. Um, so, um, of course, we can develop good software by, by, by applying correct principles. But in fact, a community is also an important part of research software now, like all the other software, especially for open software. So in order to make your, your uh, software available, useful for other people, you have to create a community. So you need to be able to build a community and maintain it, which is really quite, quite difficult. So it sounds difficult, but maybe it's not impossible. And, uh, Today, in fact, we will talk about this. So we will talk how we can make our research software more sustainable. We will learn more about each other's software, and we will also discuss the needs and challenges for sustainable research software development. We have a rich program, uh, a little bit uh, packed. So um, I won't go into the details, but I just want to indicate the coffee breaks, so before 11.30, we will have a coffee break. Uh, and then in the afternoon session before 3.30, uh, we will have another one. Um, between 1 to 1.40, we will have, uh, have the lunch. The lunch will be outside in, in the foyer. So uh, actually, all the events will take place in the vicinity of auditorium today. We will start with some presentations about East Science Center and the scientific departments of ITC. Uh, you will see uh, asterisk because some of the uh, departmental presentations will also talk about the software that is developed by the, by, by the departments. And then we will have a session dedicated to eScience Center software. We will have presentations about seven different uh, software packages that are co-developed by uh, eScience Center. Uh, and then after lunch, we will have presentations from ITC uh, software, basically. And we will end the, the symposium with an open discussion about the needs and challenges of uh, sustainable research software development with a focus on geoinformation and earth observation. And, but I think the discussion might be also a little bit more, more general. Um, we hope to have a group photo outside, but the weather is unfortunately not, not nice for this. So maybe we will have it here or maybe in the foyer. So I think we can find a nice, nice time uh, for, for, for that purpose. So um, we want to have the event as interactive as possible. So for the questions and comments, uh, we created a collaborative document. So uh, if, if you scan this QR code with your phone, you will be able to access this URL address, which is also very easy to remember. So tinyurl.com slash sustainable dash research dash software. There you will, be, you will see um, a document which you can edit. It's not necessary to sign in. You, you can start immediately editing and putting some information. And we kindly ask you to provide two information. The first one is your personal information. So there is a section called participants. Please uh, put your, your, uh, your uh, personal information there, including your institution email address. And please select a nickname uh, and uh, use this nickname while uh, posing your uh, questions and comments also uh, in, 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 in that document. So uh, very quickly, I want to go to site so that um, I can show how it works. Uh, so this is uh, at HackMD. 
So and when you go there, you will see a, a read-only version of the text. Just to make it editable, you can click this both option, which will open the text. Here, basically, uh, you can yeah, you, you can put the information and it will be visible directly there. There are some sections which I indicated please do not edit, so which is the introduction and the program. But then if you, if you go to uh, the participants, here you will see the list, so please add your name there. And the next section is presentations. So for each presentation, there is a subsection that is available. Here you can put your, your questions or comments. So at the end of each presentation, we will have a look at it and then we will pose those, 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 uh, those questions. And the last section is also available for open discussion and um, um, basically um, uh, the feedback about the event. Okay, we already started, thank you. So um, the event uh, is supported by, in fact the event itself is supported by eScience Center uh, through, uh, through the fellowship program. So the fellowship program in fact aims to support individuals who have ambition to promote and improve the use of research software. And, and our project is called a, a GeoNect. So basically it aims in fact to bring um, East Science Center research software engineers and ITC researchers together to promote uptake of research software and also uh, to, to promote better software development uh, practices. Maybe at the end of the day, uh, I, I will provide a little bit more information about it. Um, but before finishing, and be because I started already the acknowledgements, I also want to thank people not at the end of the day, but maybe at the beginning. First of all, we have uh, Jok Daum. Uh, he's in the backstage. He's helping for, uh, for, for, for the live broadcast and organization of, of the event. Then we have Liande uh, Alderin. Uh, I think she's not here right now. Uh, yeah, she will come back, back forth. She's the project officer of ITC faculty uh, bureau and um, geoinformation processing department. Uh, we are working together with her uh, for, for the project. And today, if you need any help and if you cannot reach me, uh, she is the one you need to look for, okay? Um, and then finally, we have uh, Yipat Vizigan from eScience Center. Uh, she is the section head of environment and sustainability section. Uh, and at the same time, she's the co my contact point uh, for, for, for the GeoNect uh, project. So basically, the program of today's event uh, is a result of joint uh, collaboration between, between us and, and brainstorming and the results of discussions. So thank you very much for that. Bye.